And we are very proud to have on Healthy UTV Dr. Karen Jacobson from Jacobson Family Chiropractic. Dr. Jacobson, thank you so much for being on the show. Actually, thanks for letting us invade your office oh, for this. Pleasure to have you guys here. You know, we're very impressed, first of all, with, with your style. What is your emphasis when it comes to chiropractic my, care? My emphasis, my purpose really is to help people live a full life by removing any interference to the expression of their full potential. And I do that through chiropractic care and lifestyle coaching. And that includes nutrition, fitness, and positive thinking. Really? Okay. Now, there are two types of chiropractic care. There's high-tech and low-tech. Can you tell us the difference in between the two? Well, the high-tech is, um, is really about the advanced testing that we do in the office. And that comes to, we have state-of-the-art technology that we have brought into our office. And that allows us to do a computerized stress analysis on our patients so that we can actually find out how our environment is affecting us directly, affecting our nerve system, and therefore affecting our overall health and well-being. So everything, every, every basis is covered then? Absolutely. And when we talk about low-tech, we talk about the human touch. Chiropractic basically means chiros practicos, which means practice done by hand. And there really is nothing more healing than the human touch. So in the office, I use my hands directly on my patients without any additional tools. So just, just knowing you for a while, you seem like a very passionate person. What is your passion when it comes to chiropractic care? Well, part of my goal is really to create a healthier community for all of us living here. But my main passion is really the pregnant moms and the kids because the kids are our future. And one of the things that's happening right now, there was just a research that came out that talked about the fact that the life expectancy of our next generation is shorter than ours. And that, to me, is a crime. A kid sitting in front of a Wii doing exercise is not the same thing as when we were little, when we went outside and, and played, played baseball ball. or yeah. soccer or, or, or got active. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, if you're a kid, it's okay. You can eat the junk, and then you take care of it later on. Right. You don't have to exercise. You don't have to go on a program. But that's not true. If you're going to create the habits, you're going to create the habits from the time you're a child. And then you grow up into a healthy existence. Now, if the kids are eating poorly, that's what the, the, they're feeding their system, they're feeding their body. And that is going to put stress on their nerve system, altering and changing the way they grow. And so part of what I do is deal with those issues, even from pregnancy on. You had a chance to meet some of Dr. Jacobson's patients, and here's what they had to say. Dr. Jacobson's bedside manner is just amazing. She has just that perfect touch. It's just such a caring and loving environment and it's not, you know, kind of come in and get out and, and get what you need. You know, she really takes the time to talk to you and explain things to you and, and really involve you in what she's doing, not just here's what I do and do it and get you out. We decided to bring my daughter Kaylin in. Uh, she was experiencing eczema and getting sick a lot and we found that through a lot of research that uh, chiropractic could help that. Um, she has a lot less eczema problems now, maybe you know, once every two, three months, where she was breaking out every two weeks. She was getting sick every other week, and now she gets sick maybe once a year. I started chiropractic care actually because of a neck issue that I was having. I had some shoulder and neck pain, and my nutritionist told me that um, you know I should definitely go in and see the chiropractor because nine months prior, my husband and I had been trying to conceive, and we were having, um, you know, we weren't having any luck with it. And she said that the neck pain that I was having could be uh, completely related because the nerves being pinched um, might be connected to my ovaries and uterus, and it totally threw me off. So went into the chiropractor, um, started care, uh, had relief of pain, which was great, and then a month later, we got pregnant. Grace was adjusted when she was three days old. We brought her into the office, and she, she had her little adjustment and slept right through it. And it could be her personality, but I really feel like it has helped her so much in you know, I haven't had to deal with any colic. She's just the most, she doesn't cry. It, it's just really neat. Now, those are some amazing testimonials. Now, we saw Megan and her baby Gracie being adjusted. Now, how did, how did you go about adjusting Gracie? I've never actually seen that before. 
as you were able to see, the adjustment is very gentle. With kids, there's very few areas when they're first born that they might be subluxated. Coming back from maternity, obviously, we want to be able to accommodate anyone from the pregnant women that we have on the table mm -hmm. all the way to the nursing moms. So when she can't lie face down or end up with a move that's hugging, that pillow actually helps protect and give her cushioning so that she has an easier adjustment. Okay. Now, if you want to see Dr. Jacobson, she has a very special Healthy You offer for you. For anyone who calls over the next two weeks, we will do a special offer through Healthy You TV show of an initial evaluation with a computerized stress analysis. Be sure to call the office. 480-657-3600 and you will be speaking to Megan. Perfect. And again, just make sure that you're coming through Healthy UTV. Now, if you want to find out more about Dr. Jacobson, today's show, today's specials, it is simple. Go to the web and look up healthyutvshow.com.